old money architectural design is characterized by classic designs, elements that are not easily seen or found, and a delicate balance between intricacy and simplicity. In this video, you will be able to see how we've brought all these elements beautifully together from our molding to our windows to our gypsum designs and make sure you stick until the end. I have a very special announcement and you don't want to miss it. So let's get into it. site you guys and this is the entrance to this property so i want to start off by showing you how we have managed to design the landscape there's so much greenery but on this particular property what really mattered was the placement and just trying to balance everything out so let's take a closer look at how we have managed to do that Personal paradise is exactly how we describe this. We have the kids' play area, but what we also wanted to add, adding to the environment, adding to that natural feel and essence and all the things that we love about it. We wanted to add serenity and calmness and what better way to do that than by including a water feature right over here. You can see it is in stone, so it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. The plants are actually kind of interacting with it. I don't know if you can see how that climbing plant is slowly but surely making its way to like integrate into this and it's going to be like an oasis in this lawn. So we have a couple of steps here because this is a multi, it has multi levels to it. And you can see we have the border as I'm going up the stairs, we still have the border of the different beautiful plants. And then we arrive on a section this is the pool house but we want it to serve a number of purposes so we have a door right over there that's where we're going to have the bathrooms and the changing rooms of course because of the pool you need to have somewhere that's super convenient for people to be able to go in and out and rinse off chlorine or get changed into their bathing suits over on this side up a couple of more steps we have the front face so it has been divided into two for this section we want to create the leisure area the party area this is where we're going to have the bar and then over on this side the client requested to have like a, a small home gym so we thought with this structure the perfect thing to do is just split it in two and have one side be the gym always we love to use sculptures to introduce a very unique experience for each of our projects and this project is no different of course with the sculptures we're doing here they have to call back to that old money aesthetic and that's why for this area in the bar we're gonna have a statue of what seems to be like a roman or greek athlete throwing a discus it just looks so regal and plays so well into that aesthetic right over there we're gonna have an abstract sculpture of a lady sitting and it's gonna look like she's sitting right at the edge of the water and it's gonna be so eye-catching and so different and so stunning my name is thomas mokaya from pc it's a count. I've been working the work of Sobstone from 1986. In your sign, you're an impa. An impa in Jess? Hmm. Arabo, Nansa Nana. Nana Toma, we see. Mawe, so he Mawe? Atuja Pato Nimusito, Tanis Ming. This company, Laban, eh. I'm work for four years. For four years. Yeah. So, Nataka tu utupe an idea of comparison. Because for that many years, I'm sure me kwa expert kwa ikazi. Kome koki fanya for so many years. But so, uki compare kazi uko nafanya before we join Fine Urban. Uneza sema kuna venye hii kazi ina ku elevate, ama ina increase your skill level? 
Eh, na nikulizi sababu mm. ile pesa tunalaona mm. anatoa pesa mzuri. Mm. Eh, pay mzuri. Mm. Kama bicha inakuwa exact. Mm. Eh, na yeye anafurahi na mimi nafurahi. Mm. Ndipo pesa inanisaidia kwa watoto wangu. Niko excited kuona venye hii mawe ita nataka kwanza hiyo nywele, hiyo nywele nataka kuona hiyo nywele sana. Kwa hapo na nywele itatolewa hivi. I just want to finish off with the structure and then we can get to the pool. But over on this side, there was a room right back here. We have suggested to the client to transform this into a storage so that will be ideal if they have anything that they need to put away for later and they don't want to clutter their house, this will be the perfect place to put them. So now we can head back to my favorite part of any of these tours and that is the pool and as always it's no ordinary pool. There's always something intriguing, interesting, different about how fine urban real estate construction and interiors designs their pools and this one is no different. Look at these dimensions. This is a big pool. This is a really, really big pool. We have gone with more geometrical shapes for this pool because it makes sense with the overall aesthetic. Over on this side, we're gonna have a sculpture because why not? We like to create that resort feel and by adding small elements like this, that actually does take a pool to the next level. But above that, you might think, oh, Cynthia, it looks amazing. What a great pool. It's about to get even better. So this is no ordinary pool. We are creating an infinity pool. So you might be asking, what is an infinity pool? It is a pool where one edge actually looks like it's never ending. So if you stand at a certain angle, it looks like the water is almost pouring across the edge. And that's exactly what we're gonna do here. So the water levels have to reach exactly where I am standing. So at the very top, because the interesting feature, another interesting feature that we're going to add to this pool is by having this lounge area. Right over here, we're gonna have a modern fire pit. We've al already built out the seats. And you might be like, Cynthia, if the water is getting to where you're standing, surely people will be drenched. No, we're smart. We're always one step ahead. So we're gonna make sure that we have a glass partition right in the center here. So while you're in the lounge area, it actually does feel like, oh my God, that water is definitely gonna get in. But just because of how we have structured this, keeping that in mind, the water levels are going to be just at the perfect level to make sure that it never gets over that glass pane. Let's take a closer look at these design elements that truly make the essence of the old money feel that we are going for. So we wanted to create that through line so that when you're walking up these stairs, you can almost experience what it's gonna be like having the light flowing through. And of course, it's such an easy access to the pool area and beyond. So you can see here with the molding detail, everything is really subtle. The designs are going to lean towards a more simplistic, uh, design aesthetic other than having more flowery things because that's how things end up feeling dated and with the old world aesthetic it's all about making things that will feel good today feel good next year feel good 10 years from now feel good 50 years from now so you'll notice that we're going with very simple clean lines but elevating that experience by the addition of these molded flower pots on either side that will have like a green experience again just bringing that nature forward onto the house we have a couple of fundis working over on this side we have some fresh cement so i want to get up close and personal with all these details that we're doing around the windows and you can see here we have several different shapes on these windows and you can see our fundis are here doing it by hand. I just wanted you guys to get a true appreciation of how all these elements are really coming together to make a facade that is going to stand the test of time. So look at all these details. You can see down here, and then as it continues, you have it around the windows, and you can see that on the other side as well. It is beautiful. It's quite simple. That's something I really appreciate. We don't need to do too much. We don't need to faff too much with the facade of the house, but you can still create such a unique experience 
all throughout by just adding these touches and taking the time to make sure that they are done excellently because those lines are so sharp and I can't wait once we, once we have the coat of paint on that because I know we're going to make sure that it actually pops. Let's head into the front of the house. So you can see the different windows. We have rectangular, we have the ones that have the arches and then rectangular. It is quite um, a dynamic type of design, but that's what we wanted. This is how you make an impression. Now we have like two more small steps and you now feel like you're at the main entrance of the house. We have a big opening here. We didn't have a pathway that there was no door that was intended to be here. So it was just purely windows, but now we have knocked down this entire wall and now it is a grand entrance into this house. I had a walkthrough with the lead designer Mr. Cleofas Nyagaka earlier on today and he was explaining to me what the essence of opening this up was. First of all, why would you want to block out that beautiful view? But more than that, there is a really beautiful breeze. So we wanted to create that indoor outdoor experience. This is the foyer area, but we are going to be transforming it into a lounge. We have that light pouring in through this big opening, and then you can see that through line all the way to the front of the house. We're gonna be taking a look at that in a moment, but for now, I still wanna stay here because just look up at the gypsum design. We don't want anything with too much fuss, but we do want to continue those simple lines throughout. So this is a feat. I'll always say a gypsum de designs are deceptively simple when you're looking at them, but when it comes to the amount of work that's actually put in to ensure that each and every one, because these are a lot, this is actually a lot of lines going all this way, but to ensure that each one of the, those is absolutely perfect, it is a feat, it takes a lot of time, but it really does fit into the aesthetic. And as we're going through the house, you will notice that everything is absolutely done to perfection. So from here, with the lounge area, we're gonna go over to my left. We have this wall over here. You can obviously tell it's a TV wall. Now, um, this is a renovation. So we have done a lot of structural changes. There's elements we've added in to serve multiple spaces. And this is one of the first great examples of that. So we have this TV wall that does not completely close off the two spaces. You can see we have room here for a fireplace. Looks like we're going to have the TV over there, but we still have this open area here, which I presume will also be for like display, just so we're creating like a, a symbiosis between these two spaces. So what we wanna do here is create handcrafted, Baroque inspired like designs, those very delicate floral like patterns. Just look at Baroque and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So we wanna create an experience like that so that every inch of this house is eye catching. You're gonna see the fireplace and be like, oh, how wonderful, let me take a closer look. And that's exactly what we love to do with all our projects. On the other side of the wall, we have the main living room oh oh my god yeah it is a huge space and i can immediately identify just how dynamic this space is going to be just by how we've chosen to do two very distinctive gypsum designs in one space meaning we have a lot of room and we want to get really creative so we want to give this the same room two different identities so that when we're furnishing you can just have a very authentic and diverse feeling. I just want us to take a closer look at how intentional we have been with the design of the archways over here just to create that dynamism and of course the fabrication of these grills. Safety is paramount. And then you can see how there's a great balance even on that wall with the symmetry, with having the arch in the center and the other small two windows on either side. And you can see how that really plays into making sure this space has plenty of light. When I talk about symmetry, I want you guys to truly feel it with me. So as I'm standing here, there's a way you can see directly into the dining room. And I can tell you there's a through line leading from here going all the way through the lounge and then all the way to the dining room. It's an absolutely perfect straight line. Leading from here all the way into the lounge and then all the way into the dining room. We absolutely had to make sure that that was perfect because we want our client to be able to look at their house from any angle and see 
all the time and care that was put into it. But the coolest thing that I heard about this fireplace, because we're not gonna buy two fireplaces and have one piece this side and then have the other piece the other side. What we want to do is have a clear fireplace. So it's actually simultaneously serving both places and I think that's just genius. You don't want to have to buy extra appliances, but if you just take a moment to think and do the research and go into the market and see what's out there, you discover ways to just have one thing, serve both purposes, and that is done and dusted. Now we are in the dining area, and this is what I was talking about. Now, if you have a keen eye, you'd realize that when we came from the living room, I talked about the same thing, that balance, that symmetry of having the two windows on either side and then having the arch one in the center. That means as you're standing outside, even if you're at the lawn and you're looking at the house, it feels pleasant, and it's because nothing is like out of place or wonky. There's great, great balance in this design. Right over here, this wall has been prepped to have a section that will kind of hide a door. So we're kind of building that out. But the idea is to give our clients that flexibility. If they want to completely separate the kitchen and the dining, they want that more closed off experience, it'll be as simple as sliding close that door. But if they don't want to compromise on that sense of having a vast space, we are going to make sure that that door has some uh, mirror elements so they can still create that illusion because we, we all know that mirrors are really great for bouncing around light and really helps make a space feel bigger than they are. But if you, they don't want to like, you know, you wouldn't want a door that you can see, right? You'd want that illusion of like, oh, I'm taking off an entire wall. So if they want that open feel, then they just open it back up, tuck it away, and no, no one would be the wiser that there's even a door that exists here. I absolutely love that flexibility. And I feel like it is really great as we're heading forward in design to have things like that because there's usually this debate of, okay, our house is getting to open plan. Are they, do, everyone's just taking down walls. Like not everyone is up for that design. But it's not always that you want a solid wall because you're like, oh, I wish like there's a way I could just, you know, take that wall out and then put it back in when I want. So this is such a great way of kind of serving those two masters because really your mood will change and your interactions will change. So having that flexibility is going to be A1. So now we are entering the kitchen, which is fully covered up. So let me see if I'm gonna be a little bit naughty and see if I can open this up for you. Seeing white cabinets over here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let's see, let's. Oh wow, look at that. That is such a beautiful texture. That, that feels like eggshell. That finish is stunning. Look at those handles. This should give us a hint into what some of the appliances might be. Because when you see handles that are like either brass or like silver or gold, you just know that the color throughout the kitchen is going to be similar. Let me just cover that back up because I know we cover these things to keep them protected. I'll just put that away. So if you guys want to see what, you know, the whole setup looks like, you're definitely going to have to join us much later in the video to, in the, not in the video, you're gonna to have to subscribe to the channel because when I come back, I guarantee most of the work will be done and then we'll actually get to experience how this kitchen is going to fully be like. It is meant to be the more clean kitchen where you'll do like, if you need to fry an egg, you can do that. Cut up some fruit, just like some light cooking. If you wanna prepare a smoothie, those are the kind of things that you'll be doing in this space generally. But now if you wanna do your heavy cooking, First things first, come on, let's, let's take a sneak peek. Let's just appreciate. Every time I'm going through, I just want to, for you guys to take a closer look at these windows at all angles. You can see the dimensions of this one, really, really big. We just want that light to flow through. That is usually our motive, we want that light. And then we also want that view. We want our clients to be able to look outside the windows or doors or any openings and catch a glimpse of nature. But yeah, let's go to the dirty kitchen. And as we're going through this small corridor, we have the door into the pantry, which you know, it's usually fully customized with cabinetry. And then 
a voila, this is the dirty kitchen. Now, one of the things that the lead designer wanted me to understand is the fact that this entire place that we're gonna be walking through was basically wasted space. It wasn't really doing much. So we have the dirty kitchen here. You can see the gas line has already been installed. We're gonna have the sink over here. I always describe this as the place where you have all your family and friends coming over and everybody is helping out, trying to make different meals and you know, there's bits and bobs that are going to be dirty. On that day, you're not ordering like one kg of meat. You're ordering a whole leg or like ribs and this is where you're really going to be able to handle all that. We have another space that was not being put to use and this is going to be the laundry area. Main ideas is to have the ironing section over here, we're gonna have the Dolby sink right over there and then we're gonna have the hanging line over here. So just to create a bit more of comfort because you can see this area gets a lot of sun and that's why it's perfect for the hanging lines is to just have some tra a transparent roof right over here so whoever is using the sink does not feel like that sun is just beating down on them so now we're gonna go through this door this section is a big open space you can see we have a water tank just sitting on top there and we were like that is no way to use this space and we have created an underground tank in this area so we're gonna head back into the house we have a door leading back in this is going to be the cat's designated area so we're going to design it and have a bed there and a water bowl and a food bowl so this this is it's gonna be really really cute I want to see more people asking us to create custom spaces for their pets because I really want to see how we do in that sector I think we're gonna have the bougiest pets at Fide Urban if we have elements like that it's just gonna be super cool so now we are back we have the dining we have the kitchen we just saw we saw the pantry we went out to the laundry and the dirty kitchen so there's only one way to go so let's go this way Another small, small corridor here. I've been told this is another storage space. And then we're gonna go across. Let's go across and see what's happening over on this side. Oh my God, the use of Wayne's cotting here has been done so well considered. You can see that most of it is just straight, very simple, but of course with that multi-layer effect just to create more of a moment. But when you take a closer look at the edges, so we've already included those little elements of just something that feels very, very delicate, not too busy, but it adds so much. You can see how it's been done, multiple panels. So what we want to do is continue this paneling into the bathroom immediately we have created a new concept something that's really classy something that's always going to be a wow factor this house is going to have so many wow factors i think it's the perfect way to complete this wall and we have bedroom number one which i presume will be the guest bedroom this house is spacious Right behind here, we have some cabinetry, but we have all this space over here. We have that massive window that we've expanded. So this room also has its own bathroom. We're smoothing out the walls. Something you need to note about all these bathrooms is they're all going to be rainfall showers, and you're going to be seeing this detail implemented in several different ways in all the bathrooms. They're going to be quite unique for each room, and I'll get more into what that is for as we continue. So here we have a render of what our lead designer's ideas were. So you can see how the tall columns are coming into fruition at the front and at the back of the house. You can see the curvature of the windows. And as you can see, we're executing them to perfection. I am currently looking at the front entrance and I can see it is exactly like this. I actually want you guys to take a look at the fabricated door that's gonna fit in here and see how closely we're trying to match that design. have these tall pillars that have gone all the way up. I am looking at that capital, that design. I feel like this is one of those places where you just need to talk to the experts to get a true essence of like, what does it look like to design pillars like this from the base and all the way up to the capital and to make sure that it's actually flush with the TNG up there. So let's look for the experts. Hello. 
Sasa. No, no, Uko, busy. You're so hard at work. Nimetembea kwa nyumba nikiangalia all these pillars. Nikiona hizi details. Nikasema wacha nitafuta expert mwenye anafanya hiyo kazi anieleze. How long have you been doing this job? Uh, no, first of all, sorry. Tuambie jina. Oh, kama jina naitwa Okot Gogolo. Mhm. Yeah. So how long have you been doing this job? Oh, nimekoa hapa for 5 years. 5 years. Yeah. How long have you been working with Fine Urban? Oh, sai almost ni 2 years. 2 years. Yeah. What has that experience been like? Oh, it, 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 uh, nice. It's nice. Ni, ni challenging kidogo hizi designs ukipewa unasema mm, nitajaribu nione vile nita achieve. Ah. Kazi iko tu sawa. So, mimi naona designs, naona vile umemaliza, naona vile uko juu inaka. It's so perfect. It's so beautiful. But sir, I want to understand. What does it take? How do you come up with this design? Hii design eh tuko na mkubwa wetu anaitwa Ruben. Mhm. Yeye ndio ana to guide mm -hmm. eh, kama tuko na design ni design nimetoka tu, tuko na this thing what is that gauge. can i hold it so what do you do with this inaenda tu hivi pole pole sasa so hiyo ina shape ina shape wapi venye umefanya hivyo ina shape hapa juu ama ina shape hapa chini ama nikiweka hivi eh. unajua hapa sunana hapa bado kuna shimo eh. sasa na continue tu kuchapa mchanga mm. ambapo ijaye ifike mm. hadi hapo kwa hizi mm. nini hizi yeah. channels uh -huh. eh say kama ile uh -huh. oh, yes i will let's see now this is the the finished eh hey. oh it, it fits hey. so perfectly yeah. i'm sure like kuna other countries where it's so easy work on these materials I'm attached to machines that make things so much easier but I think our point is fundi our fundis are so talented and so creative that they're creating their own tools to be able to achieve such perfection actually how long does it take to create something like this 20 minutes 20 minutes can you guys believe it can you believe 20 minutes how long would it take you you are an expert yeah. i would take at least three days <laughs> <laughs> but it is absolutely perfect thank you so much for taking the time to show me yeah. you can see how much work has been put into all those levels and then we have such a beautiful curve right over there just look at it and that is just the base now let's get into the column the base of the column also has a very different shape. You can see here it goes cylindrical and then you go up and look at that. Look at how precise those lines are. The column is a feat. It's mastery. It is great work. But just having those flowers at the top and those leafy details and those little swirls, it just gives like a softer touch to it. And I think that is the majestic beauty of the tops of all these columns. You can see how we've managed to transform a wall that would be bare into something that's quite exciting. And it's in one of those areas where you might not think much of it. It might even be ignored because it's just another wall. But because Fine Urban prides itself on making sure every corner of your property looks excellent. We want to create moments like this where you'd actually stop as you're heading into the garage to just take a moment to admire this wall because of how the molding has been done so excellently and how it has now transformed this wall into something spectacular. Back in through the grand entrance and we are now going to go up the stairs. But I do want to take a moment and just pause somewhere here, actually. According to the lead designer, he is of two minds. He wants to either play around with the broken mirror design or go in with something that feels a bit more natural. As you know, with our Going Green initiative, it's all about making people feel in touch with nature. So there's ways we want to bring in the natural features from the outside into the house. So I feel like having a wall with like a natural stone texture would really play well into that. But also having a broken mirror design, which we do excellently, would also be very, very interesting intriguing but we'll just have to see where we land but as we continue we're gonna look up at the gypsum you can see we've kept it quite simple as always but this is where you get involved earlier I mentioned that there was something exciting that I'm gonna mention through the video and here it is we want to know what kind of centerpiece would you pick for this stairwell what kind of centerpiece would you pick 
If you've been watching our content, you have seen all the amazing pieces that we have traveled the world to source to make sure that our clients are getting some of the most exquisite and unique pieces. So we want to hear from you as our fans. If you're a true follower of Fine Urban, give us your best ideas of what type of centerpiece you're going to have, you would have right over this foyer and this staircase. Now let us continue up. We have reached the top floor. This is just a one floor house. So here's where you're gonna get majority of the bedrooms. Let's head down this way. We have a small corridor with bedrooms on either side. I'm gonna start on my right. This is a boy's bedroom. Everything is gonna feel very, very personal to the child who's going to be using this room. But a lot of the work that you're going to see is in the bathroom. Again, one thing that this house does not lack is space. Look at this bathroom. This is huge. Most of the things we've done is just creating moments of display to have like display shelves. So right over here, we're going to have the toilet bowl. And what we wanted to do is create a niche wall where extra towels could be stored, extra tissues and extra bits and bobs that will be like extra hand towels. It will have all that. Uh, displayed right over there and then we want to have a tub a big old tub right over here and that's why we've created this niche wall right over here so you can have the bubble baths you know your little bubbles there and just display all the soaps that you take pride in i feel like most of us want to do that like you want your bathroom to feel personal so you're going to display all your pretty bits if it's shampoo if it's shower gels if it's a bubble bath you now you have somewhere that's really convenient where you can reach and just have all those things we're going to have the sink right over there but over here you can see by the line on the ground that this is where we're going to have a big shower cubic so you can see that we have that popping out from there. So we're gonna have the rainfall shower, but we've also created another display moment right over here. So again, you might be using different things in the tub that you're gonna be using in the shower. So you still need somewhere you can store your shower gels and shampoos and things like that right in this niche wall. So you can see how we've gotten really creative in implementing different designs into the bathroom to make it more interesting and to make it feel more functional, and I am jealous of the child that's going to be in this room because how are you gonna have a bathroom this big? And then on top of that, you have Fine Urban designing your bathroom. This is, has got to be one of the luckiest kids in Kenya. I am super jealous. But again, it is to be seen as we continue picking tiles, putting in light fixtures, just how these spaces truly come to life. So we have a small balcony right over here and we're looking out, you can see that this room also has a great view of the greenery outside and a really up close view of the capital of these particular columns. So you can see those flower details I was asking about earlier. I cannot imagine that they were up here on scaffolding, like flower by flower, detail by detail. And that is quite an intricate design. And you can get a good idea of exactly how flush it is with that TNG, as I was saying earlier. So right across the corridor, we're gonna take a look at bedroom number two, another big old room. This is a big old bedroom. So we have plenty of windows all around, getting plenty of lighting. We have a really, really big balcony with these doors opening out. It's looking over to the front lawn. It's magical. It's absolutely magical and definitely, definitely, feels old money. So now let's go back inside. We have an interesting feature right over here. I see that this was some sort of partition to separate these two spaces, but we are going to be redesigning this just so we have a better partition for the main uh, living room area and for the cabinet area. So if you see all these black tarps anywhere, just know that there has is there's work that has been completed behind it. And as other work is going on, we just don't want to get it dirty or scratch scratch it or ruin it in any way, shape or form. So this is just a protective measure. So now we're gonna take a look at the bathroom over here. Oh yeah, this is where I really get to show you what the vision is. So we're gonna have the toilet bowl over here. We're gonna have the sink right over there. We're gonna have a tub right by the window. So whoever is in here can enjoy the light and the views from here. But let's look, take a look at the shower cubic. We have a niche wall here again for display as I explained, but I want you guys to see the concept of what we're truly trying to do in these bathrooms. These are jets. 
They're built into the wall, they're se seamless. You can see everything is intended to be seamless. We're gonna have the rainfall shower there. It is supposed to be high-end luxury. I know I've said old money like a million times in this video, but that's truly the essence of it. You want to walk into your home and really feel like, yeah, 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 nobody else is living like this. So let's continue. There's so much more to see, so many more open spaces as we're walking out. Now we're gonna make a way across the stairs, just across in this hallway. And now we are in the family room slash study room. So over here you can see again we have another TV wall that we will be completely redesigning but on the other side this is where we want to be the study room. With all this space it's more than enough room to actually do both family room, study room, two spaces coexisting in one and really not getting in each other's way. So and actually they wouldn't be used at the same time of course. <laughs> so we have another large opening leading out into this big big balcony i feel like big is the word of the day as well this house is huge it is massive they have a big balcony out here which is perfect being right adjacent to the family room because again you want that indoor outdoor experience when you have views like this when you have a breeze like this when you have weather like this it's always a good idea to step outside and take it all in so now we are going to continue on to the final to the final room of this house. And we are entering the doors into the master bedroom. There's no room in this house that has failed me in terms of size. This client really knew what they were doing when they were designing their house. You can tell that they prioritize having plenty of space and I think that is a wonderful thing because if you're building a dream home, you wanna grow in it, you want your kids to grow in it, you want to be able to share it with your family for years and years to come. You want it to be flexible, so the best way to do that is just start off with a really, really big space. You best believe there might be a kitchenette somewhere or a small living area. We're gonna make sure that that headboard area is so well served we're going to source the best furniture it's going to be such a glorious experience when this room is completely redesigned we have a huge balcony here again looking out into the back you have the view to the pool and beyond you also get up close and personal with the pillars at the back and you can see that the intricacy and the consistency of quality and workmanship is all throughout the house We have a grand walk-in closet. I swear, this walk-in closet is bigger than my room at home. It is, it, it, actually, it actually is much bigger than my room at home. But as I said, when you're building a dream home, you know exactly how much stuff you plan on accumulating. So you better build yourself a big walk-in closet if you plan to accumulate a lot of things over the years. So what we wanna do with the space is just mainly have a lot of cabinetry. So right back here, we have some very special cabinets. So this is where I'm gonna tell you the story of where we started with this house. Did it start a couple of months ago? No, we started four years ago. And now you're thinking, Cynthia, the, with the stage this house is at, four years? You've been working on this house for four years? No. This is one of the first projects that we got to work on in terms of cabinetry, and that was four years ago. So some of the cabinetry that's hidden behind here was actually originally done with by Fine Urban, and it's such an honor to see the long-lasting relationships that we are building with our clients. You can see four years down the line, when they were thinking of refurbishing and giving a refresh to their house. They were like, we know exactly who we trust with our house. And I think that just speaks to the long-term quality of the work that we do. Now, another thing that we've done for this room is extending. We had to extend it. So this wall over here has been pushed out just to create more room. That had to be a personal request from the client. And now you can see even here, we still have a small balcony. I've always said that when I'm walking through these houses, I wanna envision myself living here. I would wrap up my hair in a white towel, put on my bathrobe, stand out here with a cup of tea and just live that, 
you know, you want to fantasize and create, they say to romanticize your life. You do things like that and you feel like a lady of the manor and you really just live in luxury. But the views are also really helping in creating that serenity. It will be such a great start to the day, putting on your clothes, just standing out here, looking out and taking it in nature before you go and conquer your day. So we have one more space to look at and that is the master bathroom. I don't want you guys to be shocked. I know we've seen some big bathrooms and this being the master bedroom, you're gonna expect a big room, but just understand that every space that you're seeing, these are the dimensions that the client wanted. These are the dimensions that the client wanted but it is still quite spacious. So I'm gonna walk you through all the different elements that are actually able to fit in here so you can kind of adjust to realizing, yes, those are big, but this one is also such a big bathroom. So we are continuing that feature of the niche wall. So we're gonna have the toilet bowl right over here and we're gonna use this entire wall for displaying, again, those extra towels, extra soaps, things like that. And then we wanna have a tub over here and that's why you can see we have another ledge. That's why we're recessing these walls. We wanna create these ledges. Here, I would say my bubble baths, my candles, my rose petals. Do I do that? I don't do that. But if I romanticized my life, I would have some full rose petals for those days. I just want to take a bath and like forget about everything. So this is where you'd put all that. We're also going to be including light strips in all of these niche walls just to highlight all the things. So we're going to have the tub over there and then we have the shower cubic. So you can see it's going to be another rainfall shower. You can see we've dug in our plumber, the marks of our plumber digging into walls to just make sure every provision is as it should be. And you can see on either side, we have the niche walls again that will be shelving, which will be so nifty. I love that in this particular room, we have the two sides because you know it's gonna be a shared space. So he can have his stuff over on one side and she can have her stuff on the other side and you don't have that like, okay, we're all sharing the same thing. Why did you push my shower gel to the back? And now everything is toppling over. It's gonna be nice and neat and organized and it feels perfect. Now, where are the sinks? Where are the sinks? Where are we gonna place them? Cynthia, you've said that you have designed this bathroom and that is actually right over here. So we are going to have the his and hers sink as always right by the door. Speaking of, how did I forget this? How did I forget this? There's a very special plan for this wall right over here. Our lead designer said that there's gonna be a vanity a vanity. So when I was talking about having the towel, you know, I would think that is in the process of me doing my makeup and this would be the perfect place to have a vanity where you can sit down, again, romanticize your life, just romanticize it as you're doing your makeup and you're getting ready to go and conquer the day. So this is where our client would drive as they're heading to park their car and enter their house through the main entrance. And you can see on either side, we have continued with the flowers because we truly do believe in the essence of serenity that nature actually brings. It is as simple as looking outside a window and seeing a beautiful flower that could change your complete mood. So imagine after a long day of work and you're coming home and this is what welcomes you. You see how there's an explosion of colors and textures and layers as soon as you get to the top of the drive way and even up there there's a continuation it is lush apart from having all those flowers and all that nature it ends with a centerpiece of a waterfall not only are we going to have the sound of running water we're going to have it also be a visual experience by having two sculptures of ladies where the water will be spouting from that so you can see that not only is our client going to be relaxed by just hearing the sound of running water but they'll also be relaxed by knowing that they're entering into one of the most regal houses in Nairobi. We have come to the end of this magnificent tour. And as always, fine oven real estate construction and interiors has proven that no matter what challenge is thrown in our direction, we're able to take the bull by the horns and conquer it. This house looks freaking fantastic it is wonderful but i guarantee you my jaw is going to be on the floor when i come here next and actually see us breathe life into all these details that we have now perfected at this level and i want you guys to remember what we talked about earlier in the video on the staircase 
make sure you leave all your comments down below about what you would put as a centerpiece on that magnificent staircase. Remember, it's a big giveaway and you definitely don't want to miss out on that. I want to say a big thank you to all of you who have stayed with me and I hope that you're all subscribed and that I'll see you on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and TikTok all at Fight Evan Real Estate Construction and Interiors and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!